Last Friday, I went to go see The Wind Rises with Hirasashi, and then I saw the Lego movie for, like, the fourth time. Seriously, it's probably one of my favorite movies of all time now. The Wind Rises, however, was kinda... eh. This is supposedly Miyazaki's last film that he's directing. And for this film to be his last is kinda underwhelming. The film is based on a real person, uh, Jiro... Horikoshi. He was the engineer behind designing the warplanes during World War II. And this film has sparked a bit of controversy because uh, it is about a designer who made the, the warplanes for the Japanese. Though throughout the film, you really get the feeling that they don't really want to build planes to, to kill people. They just want to build planes to see if they can do it. A constant problem throughout the film is how much weight is on the plane. The weight is caused by the guns, and the designers just want to build the plane without the guns, but, you know, the military isn't going to let them do that. There was also a bit of controversy over how much smoking there is in the film. Though I can definitely see why. These characters smoke all the time. Though I guess it was like that in the 30s and 40s. There's also a romantic interest for the main character, though I'm not sure if it's true or not, since it's based in reality. One thing's for certain, though, it felt like the subbiest of subplots, because I didn't really care about their relationship at all. Overall, like I said in the beginning of the video, it was kinda eh. It definitely wasn't any Spirited Away, or Princess Mononoke, or even Ponyo. It didn't really have that Miyazaki magic in it. There are some sequences when the main character is dreaming, where there's a bit of magic in that, but overall, the, the film is about airplanes. And if you're an engineer or something, you might get a, a real kick out of this movie, but otherwise, you're gonna be a little bit bored. So is this his last film? I don't think so. I think he's going to keep redirecting movies until he's like 90. So I've got a question for you guys. Uh, what is your favorite Miyazaki movie, or Studio Ghibli movie, or Ghibli movie, uh, in general. Personally, my favorite from the studio is The Cat Returns, and if I have to choose a Miyazaki movie, probably Princess Mononoke. See you in the next video. And if you like this review, check out my other movie reviews in this playlist.